All right, so I reviewed the Michelin Wild Enduro Magi X front, Magi X front, Gumex rear on my bike just a couple of weeks ago. I uh, rode them for a few weeks, liked them, but there was weaknesses. There was obviously weaknesses. The Magi X felt a little bit hard, uh, a little bit choppy. The both tires felt choppy, really. Uh, check out my review on that. It was only dropped a couple of weeks ago, but. I've just, I'm giving this bike back. I've just finished servicing the forks and changing the spring back over. The C1 spring's back in there now. Uh, the, I think it's referred to as the B2. The B2 debonair spring, so the original debonair spring is certainly better. There's no doubt in my mind anyway. Uh, more control, less harsh. Just pff, so good. So, And I don't care about, they say that it sinks into the travel a bit. It doesn't mean anything to me. It doesn't matter. Anyway, Wild Enduro. Bit of a rant there. Magi X was a little bit harsh and didn't have the braking power on the real loose, steeper trails. So technical kind of black diamond trails where it gets loose, steep, and you're braking on hard pack with rocks over it or hard pack with pebbles kind of thing over it. It just didn't have any grip. It wasn't. Um, it wouldn't pull up. It just kind of skids, front wheel skids. And if you've had that happen to you on a steep section, you know what I'm talking about. It's sketchy. So you're right, Seb. You relax, mate. So enter the Gumex. He's got Gumex front and rear. He's actually got a fresh, a brand new Magi X to go on the front. These tires have still got heaps of life on them. They're yeah, a little bit chewed out in spots, but they rail like they're just they're so good. They're really really good. Gumex is definitely friendlier on the hands and friendlier on the. Uh, I wouldn't say friendlier on the hands. It's not it's not choppy enough to be harsh on the hands. The Magi X, but it's just a little more supple. It definitely grips better in those real dry situations where you're braking on some real dry stuff or you're throwing your bike, changing directions on some loose stuff, it cutties a little bit better. Uh, they reckon this is better for high speed stuff, but to me, there's no substitute for soft rubber. The softer rubber always prevails on every tire I've ever tried. Every tire I've ever tried. The softer rubber versions always prevail when it comes to grip, all out grip, especially here in Adelaide. It's almost always dry, we get maybe a couple of months a year where it's moist on the trails, otherwise it's dry. So, uh, I, I kind of was into them. I definitely was into the tyres, but they have they have a weakness. So, when I when I compress the tyre, you can see that resistance. There's there's a fair bit of resistance there. Now that's the middle the middle layer. It's got a nice solid layer, which gives a lot of puncture proof uh, properties on the top. Both tyres are the same. But uh, I think that's what makes it harsh. So the sidewalls are quite quite soft. I never got any tears. Never had any issues puncture puncture issues. But uh, they're just a little bit harsh. The Gumex still a little bit harsh compared to a DHF Max Grip. That's what I compare all my tires to. DHF Max Grip is always my number one. But uh, this one was good. This one was really good, and it inspires so much confidence. If the soil is anything but super hard pack, and even with the super hard pack, with the with the Gumex is way better. This one, uh, anything that's not hard pack, it rips in really really well. The the Magi X, but the Gumex reigns supreme. Supreme to me, the Gumex reigns supreme out of these two tires. I would run one again. I'd run a front again, but I wouldn't run a Magi X. So if you like Magi X, I'm pretty sure I'm giving this to a friend of mine. So. I'll probably give it to him. They say in the warmer weather it's it softens up, but there's only so far it'll go with, a, I believe it's like a 50A or a, maybe a 53A or a 52A or something. It's it's just not a soft enough rubber. It's a trail tyre. It's a trail tyre. It's uh, it's in between a Max Terra and a Dual Compound, if you're looking, if you're kind of comparing them to the Maxis. So, uh, very similar, very similar grip-wise to the Max Terra little bit less grip under hard braking on the loose stuff but a little bit less supple as well uh, Gumex is definitely like I said it's the best one so that's my choice out of these two tires if you're gonna go the Michelin's uh, I definitely suggest going Gumex front and rear I wouldn't go the Magix on the front so um, yeah go with what you love obviously go with whatever you love but in my opinion this tire doesn't doesn't do the job. If you're gonna ride gnarly stuff, safety first. It's always safety first for me. It's always 
the most grip you can have, obviously within reason, you don't want to be carrying a slug up here. You don't want to put a downhill tire on the front if you're doing trail riding at Cobblers Creek. So, um, within reason, but the softer rubber always prevails. So, yeah, that's it.